everyone, welcome back to Beyond Studio Pilates, my name's Hannah and today I'm going to take you through a stamina workout. So this is going to look at building strength and endurance within your upper and your lower body. You're going to need a resistance band or some little hand weights for the upper body section. For the lower body you need nothing, it's all going to be body weight. We're going to take some really simple exercises and just hold them for a set period of time to build some strength and endurance in those muscles. I hope you enjoy today's session. Just going to start with a gentle side bend. So I'm just going to bend down and to the side. So just working into that back and core. Keep thinking about belly button to spine, rib to hip connection as you reach and keeping that movement on the side plane. So we're not bringing our head forward, keeping your head on top of your shoulders. And so one more to each side like this. And then coming back to the top, giving those shoulders three rolls backwards and three rolls forwards and three elbow rolls backwards and three elbow rolls forwards and then we're just going to give those shoulders a little wiggle. Okay, so we're coming on to our first exercise. So we're going to do a bicep curl with the band, but we're going to hold it today. So we're going to look at building some stamina and some endurance in those muscles. So you're putting your foot around the band or band around the foot, doesn't matter which foot it is, holding onto the band. Make sure the band isn't pulling you forward, standing nice and tall, think shoulder blades melting down your back. And then from here, we're just going to bring one arm in and we're going to hold. And then gently release. So as you release, make sure you're not letting that band ping you down. So we're going to hold and gently release. Keep those shoulder blades melting down your back. Bring the other arm up, hold. And gently release. And other side, hold. And gently release. Okay, we're going to do four more on each arm. So bring that arm in, hold. And then gently release. And other side, bring it up and hold. And gently release. And again, three on each side to go. Doing really well. Keep standing tall. Gently release. And the other side, hold. Gently release, two more on each side. Final one on each side. And then gently release, okay. From here we're going to go on to our tricep, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to hold that move. So we're going to drop the band in your left hand, going to move the band so it's under your right foot, hold it in your right hand, so palm up. Core switched on, standing nice and tall and then you're going to bring that band behind your head. Make sure you're standing on the same side as you're holding, if you're pulling it across your body it's sometimes quite uncomfortable. So again we're going to take that wrist to the ceiling and then we're going to hold. Make sure you haven't locked that elbow joint out, so a soft elbow but a straight-ish arm hold. And gently release. And again, up and hold. Gently release. And again, up and hold. And gently release. And again, up and hold. And gently release, final time, up and hold. And gently release, two to go, up and hold. Gently release, and final time, up and hold. And then gently releasing that arm back off, bringing that to the other side. So standing 
on the band, band in your left hand, this time under your left foot, arm comes up and round, core switched on, standing tall, we're going to take that hand up, hold, and gently release, up and hold, and gently release, and again, pushing to the ceiling, so remember you're in control of how hard you work, so if you need to make it easier, just let some band out, if you need to make it harder, take some band in. Gently release and again, holding it there. Three more to go. And final two. And final one. And then gently bringing that arm back down. Taking your band around one foot, so we're going to take it around our right foot to start with. Now, if your balance can be a little bit iffy, you can hold on to something if you need to. If not, standing up tall, we're going to just take our weight into that left leg. Just holding on to the band um, for a little bit of support, and then we're just going to take that leg out and back in. our final one and then we're going to hold that leg out there and this time we're going to do a little circle keep standing tall and take it in the other direction so just working into that hip three two one. Okay, gently bring that foot back down. Going to swap to the other side. So placing your left foot in the band, holding onto the band. The band is just helping with the movement a little bit. It's not really kind of like pulling on your foot or anything. Core engage your right leg has your weight and then we're doing five raises. Keep standing tall as you raise. <laughs> Two one and taking that leg out five circles two one five circles in the other direction one and then gently bring that foot back down letting go of the band placing the band somewhere where you can get hold of it because we will use it again in a minute but we're just going to move on to a nice stamina exercise for that lower half now So we're going to do a little squat. Now, if you have um, a sofa or a chair that you can use, you're very welcome to kind of come to it and kind of hover just above it. So if you feel like at any point you need to sit down, you can, but you don't have to, you can do it without it. Want you to keep your feet underneath you, core engaged, standing tall to start with, and then we're going to bring our arms out in front, bring ourselves down into our squat position. So you're in charge of how low you go and how hard you're going to work and we're going to hold it here now if you're putting your hands on your legs that's fine just make sure you're then not kind of leaning on them so i prefer that you bring your arms out in front and hold it here okay then coming up to the top so that was a 20 second hold we're going to go down, this time we're going to do a 15 second hold, so we're coming down into that squat position, core engaged, make sure your knees are behind your toes, hold. And then gently coming back up, this time we're going to do 10 seconds, here we go, down. And then gently back up, this time we're going down for five seconds, core on, taking yourself down, shoulder blades away from your ears, make sure there's some weight in your toes. And then gently back up, we're going to do five seconds again, so here we go, down into that chair, hold it there. 
and then gently back up. We're doing 10 seconds again, core on, down we go. Holding for 10 seconds. Again, push through your feet back to the top, 15 seconds, down we go, doing really well, we're nearly there. And then gently back to the top, 20 seconds, let's go, hold it there. And then gently bring yourself up, give those legs a little wiggle. Thanks for joining my stamina session today. I hope you found it really beneficial. If you're enjoying my workouts, please subscribe to my channel, hit the alert button so you get a notification every time I release a new video. And if you would like to join me on my on-demand studio or in live classes, please get in touch at www.beyondthestudiopilates.co.uk or email me on hannah at beyondthestudiopilates.co.uk. I hope to see you on a mat again very soon. Bye for now.